there any American poets in here? I want to hear an American poem, something American, you know, some sassy shit, a South Carolina slave shout, a Alabama backwoods church shot call and response. I want to hear an American poem, an American poem about sharecroppers on the side of the road, of families in cardboard boxes, not about kings or majestic lands or how beautiful ugly can be. I want to hear some American shit, some American poetry, something about ghettos of Italians, of Jews, of Germans, of niggas, about abandoned projects and lead poison and poverty and children in jail. I want to hear a poem about picket lines and a Joe Hill legend, struggle for an eight hour day. Hey, hey you, hey you, hey, hey you, where are all the American poems about Harlem number runners and barbershop conversations about colored faces on colored TVs? I want to hear an American poem, an American poem as American as jazz, as a South Bronx burner, branded on abandoned buildings, a scratch tune, a break beat, a bass spinner, a beatbox, a rap song, and Congo squares, niggas beating on buckets on Broad Street, as American as the Zulu Nation and Latin Kings. I want to hear an American poem about a dead girl on Chadwick Avenue with a bullet in the neck from a cop doing his job, ordered by fascism and crack cocaine, you know, something made in the USA, something American and Afro-Cuban, New York and Latin tinge, beaten bull by and plenty, spiraling out of the wide open tenement windows in the middle of the winter, on the verge of East Harlem or North Newark, poems of brown colonies of Albizu being tortured for breathing Taino blood, screaming African tug, dialoguing in Spanish for being him Puerto Rican self, and worst of all, loving it. My God, where the hell is all the American poetry? Not poems about your attic, not poems about how your clothes fit, or fucking poems and stale slobber, nor the night before, or the morning after. I don't want to hear about your shoes, or your statues, and your fantasies. There's no more American poetry, just death marches, and snort laughter, and niggas being funny. No American poems. I won't boost your ego, play your song, boost your morale, make you comfortable shit. I want to hear an American poem, something native like smallpox, like trail of tears, like wounded knee. I want to hear an American poem with American images like welcome back hot or white shadow or different strokes about white gods who got helpless niggas to the life American, you know. Something that represents us, a colored rainbow, a big bright fist, a uncorrected sentence, some improper English shit. As American as Go and Tell Pro. As, as American as Go and Tell Pro. As Big Skill New York as Robinson singing out the back of his truck. Like Nina Simone playing at the village gate with Baldwin next to her on a piano stool and a myriad of Mina Baraka in the audience. Air filled with smoke, cognac, and Mississippi goddamn. Back to that moment. See if you can see that shit. An American masterpiece. An American poem. Something, something American like the Red Summer, Strange Fruit, Marmalade. Hey, you. No, you, no, you. You, you, and you, and you, you. Something American. USA, America, USA, America. USA, America, USA, American. As the K, K, K. James Tilden, 1877. Dan Scott, 1857. Brown versus Fort Bend. Sweat versus Painter. Smith versus Allwright. Smith versus Charles Mecklenburg. Us versus them. Them versus us. Us versus them. Them versus us. You know any poem about them and Till will do. The Tallahatchie River, church bombings, or child murders about Alabama red dirt and boycotts in Montgomery about family in my way north with dignity and shotguns. I'm gonna hear a poem. A poem. A poem about a beautiful black boy. A beautiful black boy, can't you see him? A beautiful black boy coming into his night. His eyes, the stars, his hands, our will about a beautiful black boy in the middle of a project playing, playing checkers with glass and stones. Buckets on drugs and play the horn in his sleep. I want to hear a poem about a beautiful black woman, an incredibly, incredibly beautiful black girl, an incredibly beautiful black girl, an incredibly beautiful black woman, face in the mahogany smile and flowers, petals for her lips, a beautiful brown girl with a poem in her eyes, with a poem in her eyes, and a gun in her hand, sitting in a puddle of tears in Clinton's women's facility in the Garden State, in the land of the free. You know something that represents us. You know something American.